Hi friends, how are you guys? I hope you're spending lots of time outside this week. I'm recording this week's Sunday School video outside my house because the weather is so nice. Today we're going to keep talking about what happened right after Jesus rose from the dead. If you'll remember, two weeks ago we read about Road to Emmaus. Well, this is what happens after Road to Emmaus, and we talked about it a little bit last week with Doubting Thomas, um, but we're going to look at it from Luke's perspective this week, who wrote one of the books in the Bible, and we're going to hear what he says, and we're going to read about it from the Brick Bible, which is a Lego Bible. And I'll try and read it and show you the pictures, and we'll talk about it. So, we're going to start right here with this picture. These are a bunch of the disciples that are together, and they're locked in a room. Um, this is right after Jesus has been crucified. They're scared. They don't know what to do. Um, you know, they've been told Jesus is going to rise from the dead, but they don't know what that means, and that's kind of crazy. And all of a sudden, when they're in this locked room together right here, you guys know who appears. Right here. Who is that? It's Jesus. It says, And Jesus came, standing in their midst, and said, Peace be with you. And they were terrified. And they thought they were seeing a ghost. Can you look at their faces? It looks like they're terrified and they think they're seeing a ghost. And you know what? That makes sense because that's that was a really hard thing that Jesus asked his friends to know that after he was crucified or killed, three days later, he would rise from the dead. Isn't that what you would think maybe? I mean, that's that's the logical thing to think. Oh, it's a ghost. But then Jesus says, why are you afraid? Why do you doubt? Look at my hands. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as I have. Look at this. So there's Jesus. He says, I'm not a ghost. He doesn't look like a ghost there, does he? It looks like Jesus. And Let's talk about, too, what is Jesus wearing? Not much. And why is that, guys? Why does everybody else have clothes on, but Jesus doesn't here? It's because, remember, when he was crucified, what was he wearing? He didn't have much on, did he? And then when his body was laid in the tomb, he was wrapped in a cloth or a linen, but they didn't put clothes on him. So this is Jesus risen from the dead. While the disciples were all standing there thinking, oh my gosh, is this a ghost? Jesus says, do you guys have anything to eat? Here he is asking, do you have anything to eat? Which, that would be a good clue that it's not actually a ghost. Jesus is risen from the dead. So they gave him a piece of cooked fish and he ate it in front of them. Is that something a ghost would do? Everybody knows ghosts don't eat food. So that was a really good thing for Jesus to do, to reassure them, hey guys, I need you to believe this miracle. I need you to have faith. It's me, Jesus, I'm not a ghost. And then we have the whole Doubting Thomas story, which you guys know. Thomas said, my Lord and my God, and Jesus said, Thomas, you believe because you have seen. Blessed are those who have not seen, and yet they believe. And we talked about that last week, and you guys know about that. But then, Jesus opened up their minds so they could understand the scripture, saying, Everything written about me in the Law of Moses, the Prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. And then see, look at what is Jesus pointing at here. 
look like scrolls from the Old Testament, from the time of Moses, right? And then he said, thus it is written that the Messiah must suffer and after three days rise from the dead. The repentance for the forgiveness of sins must be preached to all nations, starting in Jerusalem. So Jesus is giving his disciples a clue. He's saying, guys, you have to stay in Jerusalem. You have to start preaching here. And you remember how we talked about last week? How when Thomas, doubting Thomas, said, you know, I want to touch his wounds. I want to poke my hand in his side. Jesus didn't get mad. Jesus knew that he was asking people to believe or have faith in a really, really crazy thing that didn't make a lot of sense. So instead of telling Peter, Peter, you should just do it without asking questions, or not Peter, Thomas, I'm sorry guys, um, he let Thomas touch his wounds. And think about today's story. When he went into the locked room, like that's something a ghost would do, right? You guys have all seen ghosts in cartoons and in stories and stuff where, you know, ghosts can woo pass through walls and stuff. Like appearing in a locked room, that's something a ghost could do, right? But rather than tell his disciples who are scared and don't know what's going on right after he's been killed and then his body's disappeared and the ladies have said he's risen from the dead, he says to them, do you have something I could eat? Because again, you guys, ghosts don't eat food. Only people that are alive, people that have risen from the dead like Jesus do. So again, while God is asking us to believe in miracles, Jesus, because he's God and he's a man, understands, you know, that's kind of hard. So he gives, he gives the disciples some help and says, you know what, look, I'm eating. That's something a man does. That's something an alive person does. Guys, I'm alive. I've risen from the dead. So just like Jesus helps us, and helps us do hard things and make make good choices. That's what he did right after he rose from the dead. He helped the disciples believe hard things and met them where they were at to help them realize it's still Jesus. Jesus is risen from the dead. Jesus still loves us. So this week, guys, I know, I know staying at home and being stuck with your mom and your dad and your siblings, your brothers and your sisters, it's, it's getting kind of old and doing online school is getting kind of old and it's, it's hard and it's not easy, but Jesus helps us do hard things and uh, you know, I, I think I think these stories are following along so good with where we are, guys. They're they're meeting us where we are. They're giving us hope. They're reminding us that Jesus has risen. Jesus is with us. Jesus loves us. Jesus is helping us do hard things. So this week, when your patience is running thin and you're tired of doing the same thing over and over and over. Remember that Jesus, Jesus will meet you where you are. Jesus will help you to believe and help you have strength and help you to do the right thing and make loving choices. So I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. I can't wait to see you guys in person again and I hope you have a good week. Bye bye.